Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Blazing Emerald playthrough. This is part 23 and we're here outside of the Pokemon League, but that's not exactly what we're going to be doing straight away. We have a couple of things to round up and do first, one of which is going to be move set changes. I want to go ahead and make sure that we have patches with that super cool new move, uh, Dark Bargain, I think is what it was called. I want to make sure we have that, as that does sound like it would be really nice for sweeping. I want to go and check out New Morville. I want to go and check out the last Hoenn form that we haven't grabbed yet, which would be the Hoenn form of Onyx. So we have a couple things that I want to do, and you know what? Let's go ahead and start things off with New Morville, because New Morville doesn't require us to do anything crazy. So we'll go to New Morville first, see if there's anything to do there, see if there's any Pokemon to find. Probably grab the TM for Thunderbolt if that hasn't been moved, so we can get that. Then we'll go ahead, we'll change around the uh, movesets on our Pokemon with the heart scales that we have. I think it's just one actually, so I don't know why I'm saying scales, but still, we'll do that. Then we'll go get um, Home and Form of Onyx, and if we have a little bit of time left, because I want to keep this roughly half an hour, then we can go ahead and maybe look towards the Oreo Evolution Orion, as I think that is something that we can do now that we have access to Waterfall. Actually, while we're here, let's go ahead and grab ourselves the Acro Bike, because I think I picked up the Mark Bike, and the Mark Bike is lame. And if we are going to go to a route 119 to try and get, you know, Orion, I think we need the Acro Bike for it, unless the area above when you use Waterfall has been changed from the base game, but I don't see why it would have been, so we'll go with that. Um, I don't want to have a Max Repel on, actually, because while we head towards the good old New Morville area, hopefully we might be able to find something different in that. Although I don't think we would find any Hoenn forms... It'll probably just be Voltorbs and Electrikes, won't it? Unless there's like an actual- unless like there's a Zapdos in here. I could see a Zapdos being put in here. It wouldn't be the first game to do it. So actually, yeah, maybe we will just go ahead and keep ourselves a Max Repel active. Where are my Max Repels? We'll keep that active, actually. And we will go ahead and start making our way through here. We should have probably come in here quite a long time ago. I needed to hit that, didn't I? Yep, okay. I knew I needed to hit that, but also... I'm done. So, we'll go ahead, we'll run along. Honestly, I don't mind battling a couple of, a couple of the electrodes, because I want to try and get just a little bit more XP on my Pokémon. I don't really want to, like, train up as such. I don't want to go ahead and, you know, beef my Pokémon up by five levels, because I don't want to one-shot the Elite Four. My concern is for them, not for me, put it that this way. <laughs> it might sound stupid, but I'm more concerned for the Elite Four that I have to face than I am for my own Pokemon. But I wouldn't mind everyone being at least level 50. Plus, Dupe is actually really close to leveling up, so you know what? That is kind of convenient. Watch me get the boost because there's no other Pokemon other than this one Volt Orb. Ready? We're boosting. We're not boosting? Crazy. We do get the level up immediately, which is kind of nice. So, Dupe is trying to learn Cloud Burst. What is Cloud Burst? That sounds like a flying type move, but it's not going to be disappointed. It is. 140 base. Oh, Draco Meteor. Okay. Flying type Draco Meteor. Well, we do have flying type coverage because we have Tri Attack with the ability that makes it a flying type move. So it's not like I would gain any extra coverage. Yes, it's high base power, but also it has a pretty hefty drawback. Whereas Ancient Power's been buffed in this game to be base 80, so it's actually just really good all around. Like, it's a good Rock-type move, it's got a good benefit if you can get it. Tri-Attack is obviously great because of the, you know, free time status chance. Thunderbolt and Dragon Pulse are my stab. I don't think I have room for it. I don't think I have the room. But also, it's a new move and I kind of want to use it at least once. It's a tough life. It's a tough decision. Do we get rid of Tri-Attack for Cloud Burst? You know, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Is this the best thing we could do? Probably not. Tri-Attack being a flying type move is probably better for us. Our ability is now essentially useless. Uh, but you know what? I want to see the animation at least once. Even if I have to use it against an electric type in here, I'll use it at least once. You know, we'll see the animation. Do I have infinite heart scales to go ahead and relearn Tri-Attack or anything like that? Nope. No, I don't. But I do want to see the cool new move. Okay, my curiosity 
is greater than my desire to win. <laughs> As it does. So, Cloudburst, go. Ooh. Worth it. It was worth it. That was worth it. It didn't KO. It didn't KO. It really didn't KO. Like, I know it was resisted. Okay, I get that. But still, it's a base 140 power move. Get to use it again at least. That <laughs> silver lining, I suppose. But while we are heading through New Morville, I do quickly want to mention um I did go ahead and ask for people to go ahead and give me Pokemon games. Don't get me wrong, that is still the case. I still want to grab Pokemon games. I did decide what I was gonna do though. I did decide on how I was gonna um sort out what game I want to play. My idea at the moment is I'm gonna use the poll system that I've now actually started using. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that we can put like the five that I like the most into a poll, and that way you guys can all decide on what on earth. You guys can all decide on the game that we want to play. I'm very confused. I'm very what? What? Oh, Raikou! Okay, my brain was not recognizing that as a Raikou. My brain just it did not see that Pokemon as a Raikou. I don't know why I didn't see that as a Raikou. I was trying to like make a humanoid shape out of it, and I was like, who on earth is this? I don't know what I was doing. Okay, well, Raikou. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna use a Raikou over Dupe. And it might seem a little bit harsh to do this. But... Uh, boop. You're gonna get one final boop in on me, but I am gonna Earthquake you, I am gonna shut down this generator. I was expecting a Zapdos, not a Raikou. I will admit. But you know what? I'm glad it was here. You know, if I'd come by here a little bit earlier, maybe I would have caught the Raikou. I don't know if I'd have ever used the Raikou, but, you know. And we will shut down the good old generators. I don't think we can escape rope from here, but then again, I could be misremembering. So we'll go ahead and try at least a little bit. If I have any, I do. We can't escape rope out of here. Okay, I don't know why I thought we couldn't. But with that, let's go ahead and start making our way over to our next goal, which is going to be Falaba Town. After I go ahead and quickly check for Wreck Handy. Wreck Handy. But before we go to Falaba Town, we have good old Watson to return to, because he has a TM for us. So we'll go ahead and grab ourselves Thunderbolt. Which, at the moment, I don't think we have anyone that we really want to put it on, because, you know... Our electric type already has electric type coverage and everything like that. But let's go ahead and make our way to Falaba Town. Alright, Heart Scale Man, I have the Pokemon with me. You know all the moves the Pokemon can learn. I am going to go ahead and take a brief check that there isn't anything else that we want to grab on any other Pokemon. Um, like Duke, for example. Because, I mean, Cloud Burst is cool and all. But I kind of want Try Attack back. <laughs> I kind of want it back, you know? I feel a little bit bad. I don't think the Dragapult's gonna have anything different, because at the end of the day it still has a signature move. Yeah, we still have everything there. Dragon Dance might honestly be a decent move with it, now that I know that Fiery Darts is gonna be physical. Goom, unfortunately, has like zero moves that it can learn. It just doesn't have a lot of coverage, so it gets most of its coverage from TMs. So Viper, I feel like, already has the best that it can get, unfortunately. Yeah, so Viper doesn't land a lot. It gets Sword Stance, which is nice, I guess. Leech Life is nice for recovery, I guess, but... I think the only move that we really want to learn right now is Dark Bargain, and it is... It's a scary move, you know? Sharply raising speed and special attack and accuracy works really well with Siphon, but getting cursed? That's not the dream. Definitely not the dream, but we'll go ahead and learn it. We'll get rid of Dive, because Dive right now does absolutely nothing for us, now that we are done with, you know, needing HMs. Surf is still a very good move, so we'll keep Surf, though. It's better than Scald in this situation, because of its higher base power, meaning, realistically, we have more chance to one-shot things. And one-shotting things is definitely our plan when we're using uh, moves. We don't want to try and get, like, the burn or anything like that. We just want to KO as quickly as possible. So we did get Thunderbolt. Anyone want Thunderbolt? Goom! Patches! Patches! You haven't forgotten your roots, I see! Patches! I don't think I have room for it. 
because Abyssal Lure is still really good if we can get it off. Like, yeah, the coverage is nice, but between Water and Ghost, we hit most typings just fine. Most being the keyword, but still, I feel like we'll be fine. Plus, for special attack boost, I don't think our resistances will matter as much. Goom, on the other hand, Goom, I don't mind learning Thunderbolt. That gives it some coverage. What do I get rid of? Do we get rid of Recover? I feel like we can afford to get rid of Recover because we do have potions and at the end of the day, yes, Goom has a lot of HP, but a Hyper Potion will heal more than Recover. So I'm not that worried about just slapping more coverage on it. Plus, let's be honest, if I can bring in Goom in a situation where it has a super effective move, it's winning the 1v1, right? It just is. It's such a nuts Pokemon. It will win just fine. Earthquake we can learn, Sylviper doesn't have it. Sylviper, why didn't I give you Earthquake? He's got Crunch. He's got Crunch. But realistically... I guess I have Earthquake on Dodrio. Yeah, I don't, I don't need Earthquake, that's fine. It's a good move, but it's not exactly what we need. And other than that, I feel like we have pretty much everything where we want it. So I guess we're going to go ahead and start making our way over to the Hoenn form of Onyx, which I believe is in Shoal Cave. So let's fly on over there. We're going all over the place today, okay? We're going to every single area we are, we are exploring right now. That is the plan. So we'll go ahead and start making our way to Shoal Cave. We do need it to be high tide, I think. And I don't know if it is or not, but well, I guess we'll find out, so we'll make our way over. Also, I did briefly mention the, the Pokemon games thing, I am going to just reiterate it because, you know, I want to make the point clear, and there was a Raikou that kind of confused me while I was in the middle of saying it. Um, but I have gone ahead, I've written down all the Pokemon games that have been suggested to me so far on the side, which is... I'm actually just going to list them off. Pokemon Bushido, Nameless, Unbound, Dark Cry. Someone mentioned Pokemon Reborn. By the way, I have played Pokemon Reborn already. Uh, I haven't played it, you know, for YouTube or anything. It is a long, long game, and I played it, you know, a good, like, three, four years ago at this point, maybe. But I have gone ahead and played Pokemon Reborn, so I probably won't be playing that again. Uh, I did actually just see the Onyx in the water there, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, that is kind of weird. I, I was fully prepared to start running back and forth, but, uh, hi. Can I interact with you? Okay, I can. And someone did also mention the, the new Diamond and Pearl remakes. One, those aren't out yet, <laughs> so I can't be playing those just yet. But also, I would need a capture card for those for my Nintendo Switch, and I don't have one of those. So I don't know if that's going to be a possibility. So at the moment... Pokemon Bushido, Nameless, Unbound, and Dark Cry. Those are the four that I have written down that will enter the polls, essentially. Uh, if anyone else has anything to add, go for it, okay? I will pick the top five that look best to me at the end of the day, and we'll see how those go. How am I possibly going to weaken this Pokemon? I didn't think this through. I should have brought maybe something with Thunder Wave. That would have been smart. You know what I didn't do? Anything smart? A glare. I did something smart. I don't need Thunder Wave. We're fine. We're fine. What typing are you, Onyx? You see, you look like you're a crystal Onyx, right? I get the reference. But also, is it typing Ice Rock? Is it typing Water Rock? Is it because it's in the water? Is, what is? People change around the typing of Crystal Onyx a lot. I feel like it's kept the rock typing, but other than that, I don't know. I can probably get away with a Poison Tail, right? Right? Although some people make Crystal Onyx like a, a glass cannon, essentially, because Crystal, Glass, and everything. I'm just gonna throw Pokeballs. You know, we have plenty of Pokeballs. There isn't really that many more Pokemon that we wanna catch. We are fine to just go ahead Honestly, we'll use the Dust Balls, because I quite like the appearance of Dust Balls. We'll just throw a bunch of these, and we'll see how it goes. We'll go ahead and check it out in the box if it catches, when it catches. Aurora Beam Ice. Definitely Ice. You know what Ice types are? Frail. Ice types are frail, okay? My attack fell. Do that again and I'll Poison Tail you. This is not a threat. That is me then feeling comfortable. Although it is a high crit ratio move, and that's scary. 
I'm very afraid to hit this thing again. You know, I do have a Master Ball. And this does seem like a one-time encounter. Am I the type of person that would throw a Master Ball at a Crystal Onyx? I will use three more Dusk Balls. If I don't get it within these next three Dusk Balls, I will Master Ball the Crystal Onyx and I will feel no guilt. You have two more chances, Onyx. You have two more chances. Go ahead, get the boosts. Try and intimidate me. Go for it. We are just not seeing Ancient Power Boosts today, okay? This is your second to last chance. Don't get over. I'm gonna have to Master Ball this, aren't I? Aurora Beam. If you lower my attack, I'm gonna go for the crunch or something. Okay, <laughs> alright. Just... Last chance. Get in the ball or I'm Master Balling you. Alright, well, that's that's decided. Okay, it's getting Master Balled. I don't even care. I don't even feel guilty. I don't even feel guilty. Get in the ball. Uh huh. It's fine. Is there a Rayquaza that I could realistically capture in the Master Ball? Yes, yes, there is. Do I care? Nope. Nope. Because I, I called myself the last Hoenn form. <laughs> this was the last one that I needed, basically. I think there's some that we didn't technically catch, like we didn't catch the Hoenn Seal because I caught it as a Dugong and stuff like that. And there might have been like another one that I ignored, but still, we've seen all of them now. The Gem Snake Pokemon, do we want to give a nickname for the Onyx? No, we're going to keep it as it is. So is it really just that one Onyx, or is there another one somewhere? Can you find multiple of the Onyx? Is it every time it like refreshes the area, so like High Tide comes back up again, can you catch another one, or is it really just one? Wow, it's really just one? Is it really just- it's really just the one Onyx, huh? Okay. We do get another rare candy. We are collecting the candies. I am collecting all of the candies. Straight past the item and I kind of want it. We're going around. We're going around again. We're going for the loop. Okay, we can speed up the loop. We're even gonna grab the shell shells and stuff. Just because while a shell bell isn't the best item, I wouldn't mind making one, because you know what? Our items that we have at the moment, they're pretty bad. They are pretty bad. So I think I need four? There we go. And when the tide goes down again, you know what? I just might make myself a shell bell. Is it the best item? No. But, I mean, what items do I actually have at the moment? We have a silk scarf, we have a quick claw, a poison barb, nothing, a king's rock, and nothing. I mean, a Shell Bell's better than nothing on any of my Pokemon. Do not speed up as we go through the door. And we'll grab ourselves the Big Pearl. Did we need a Big Pearl? No, not really. But you know what? We grabbed it. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get out of here. We can go ahead and... I suppose the only other thing that I wanted to do before we got to the Pokemon League... Is check out the Oreo... So I guess we're gonna go ahead and start making our way over there. We're gonna need Waterfall, and I think that's the only thing we need. Plus we can also check out this. Crystal Case, Water Heals, Fire Enrages. Interesting. It's also holding a Crystal Tail, which I am gonna go ahead and grab, because I am curious as to what that does. I also need to take this Tentacruel, so we'll go ahead and- we can't put Goom away. Who do we put away to bring Goom? Because I think we have to fight. Which means that realistically, Sil Viper's probably the one we don't want to bring, but for right now, Crystal Tail. Take. What does that do? Is it going to work like. Soul Dew does on Latias, for example, and it just boosts that Pokemon. Sells for a high price. That's really underwhelming compared to what I thought. I thought that was going to be something really cool, like a signature item for it, and it's just a sale item, and that makes me sad. I don't know if that Pokemon can evolve, by the way. I don't know if we can evolve the Onyx. If we can evolve the Onyx, I'll probably evolve it at the start of next episode, but at the moment, I don't know. For right now, though, let's go ahead and see what we can do about Orion, because this Pokemon is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. 
So I need to waterfall up here, which I believe I have on my Pokemon. I do. Okay, good. And I think I just need an acro bike. It's been a while since I've been up here. Yep, we should just need the acro bike, which I did go ahead and change over already, unless I'm mistaken. My short term memory is yikes sometimes, but we can go ahead and plop ourselves along here. Hop a wheelie, because it's funny. In fact, we're gonna bunny hop our way along. The hardest part on the emulator is doing that sideways jump. Uh, is it you? Oh hey, a trainer! After my trip to Alola, I decided to settle down in Hoenn for a while. Honestly though, I've been itching for a good battle since I got here. How about a friendly challenge? Uh, sure. Alright, let's do this. Now there are two outcomes here. One, he wrecks me because this is meant to be post-game. Or two, I, I win because my Pokemon are nuts. Brawl. It was the first one. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Oh no no no. Oh no. Oh no, God, we're dying. Um, we are dying. Can I find a ball? I do have speed. Roll. Super effective. That is nothing. Okay, that's not the best. Crab hammer. We are gone. That is a rain boosted crab hammer. I don't know that thing's attack stats, but I do know the we just got bombed. This would be a great time to have the crystal onyx where water would heal me. It would be a great time. But sadly, it is not that time. Um, how am I gonna win this? How do I win this? Do we go for the Dark Bargain and Siphon? Not yet. I want to weaken it a little bit more first. And then maybe we can get like an Abyssal Lure off or something. Yes, I just tried to back out the screen and that's why you heard the Ditto sound. But I guess we can go into Dodrio. It's going to get one shot, but we can at least get an Earthquake off. Level 90 is a little bit above what I was expecting. I don't think we're going to be winning this one. <laughs> but I'll be damned if I won't give it a go. <laughs> I think this guy gives you a magic cookie if you beat him, which is how you get the Orion. Alright, Crab Hammer again. Yes, that's gonna bop us. Okay. At this point, I kind of want to try and Dark Bargain. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to live a Crab Hammer. That's my biggest worry. But I feel like I have to go for it, because I mean, he has other Pokemon in the back. It's not just this one Crawb. If it was just the Crawb, I'd feel somewhat confident. But if I can get the Dark Bargain off... He has speeds. Crab Hammer, are we gonna live? Even if we live, we have to live decently, because if not... Really the crit? Really the crit, though? We'd have had to live decently, because it would curse us anyway, so I mean... You know... It didn't look like it was gonna go well, and it didn't. It didn't go well. We do have Thunderbolt on Goom. Can I at least take out the Crawl? If I can beat the Crawl, I'll at least feel somewhat better. If I can just say I beat the level 90. Crab Hammer in the rain. Goom has a lot of HP. Goom has the HP of a level 90. It just doesn't matter. Okay, alright. That thing has an attack stat, let me tell ya. Alright then. And I guess... I also hate how cheery the music is in the background while I'm getting absolutely annihilated. Um, I am gonna overcharge. Am I even gonna live? I'm not gonna live, I should have thunderclapped, damn. Yeah, we don't even live. Okay, alright, crawl. Okay. Alrighty then. I don't know why I thought we would outspeed. But I guess... I, I guess because Dodre outspeed is kind of why, but... Shockwave? Are you going to be enough to take it out? Technician boosted, so remember this is like a Thunderbolt. Nope. Nope. Our team literally just got crab hammered. That was it. We just got crab hammered. And you'd best believe I'm going to go back there and try it again. Because I'm dumb. <laughs> but I am absolutely going to go back there, and I'm at least going to try and beat the crawl, okay? I will not have this be a one-sided victory for him. I refuse to let this happen. I will beat the crawl. Okay, will I be anything else? Probably not, okay? Probably not, I accept that, but I wanna beat the crawl. Let's go ahead and, hmm. How do I wanna do this? We could take the Crystal Onyx. If it only went, I mean, it only went for Crab Hammer, right? 
So, I mean, we can take the crystal onyx. <laughs> I, I just want to beat the crawl, you know? I just want to beat the crawl, okay? Goom did nothing. I hate to say it, but Goom did nothing. So we're not going to bring Goom. Maybe that's not the po- No, we should take Goom. We should take Goom. We should take Goom. There are other Pokemon. We should take Goom. Who shouldn't we bring? Dragapult in the rain seems dumb. We won't bring- We're going to leave Dragapult. We're going to try this again. I'm going to beat the crawl, okay? Yes, they're level 90. I'm aware I'm going back into my own loss again, okay? We're going to lose the actual fight. I accept that. That's fine. I want to beat the crawl. <laughs> is this petty? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. But also, I want to win. Okay? I don't think I have a way of actually, like, winning the whole fight, unless we maybe get a Dark Bargain Siphon thing going. I don't see that happening. Unless the second Pokemon is super slow and just goes for, like, status. Maybe if he has, like, Battalion or something. But at the moment, my plan is simple. Thunderbolt, get crab hammered, that's fine. Onyx is gonna come out. I'm actually gonna set the hail to stop it from going for the war type moves. Crystal case made. Oh. Oh, crab hammer useless. Oh, hold on. Here we go, here we go. We've now got the hail, so there's no more rain boosted crab hammers if it does change its move. What does crystallize do again? In cases the foe in a solid crystal may freeze. Special rock type move. Not 100% accurate because no rock type move ever is 100% accurate, but you know what? It's not bad. If we could get a freeze off on this Pokemon, that would not be bad. Let's try and crystallize. Iron Head, we're dead. You know what? You know what? We got rid of the rain. Is it gonna make a difference? Possibly. Possibly. Maybe Goom can live a hit now. Maybe. Do think Goom can live a hit without the rain? And with the hail up instead? Maybe. I want to believe in Goom. Plus we have the hail ticking. Remember, my goal is not to win this whole fight. My goal is to beat Crawl. So, any damage ticking on this Pokemon is fine. Iron Head. No. Stop it. Wait. I thought you would go back to Crab Hammer. I really did. I don't know why I thought it would go back to Crab Hammer. Also, stop critting me. <laughs> God damn it, Crawl. God damn it. All right, we Earthquake. We have Earthquake and we have Thunderclap. Between the two of them, maybe we're good. Maybe. Plus, we'll have the hail damage ticking. If it comes to it, I could always revive a Pokemon to take out the Crawl. I don't think I'm that petty, though. Well. Well. <laughs> maybe. I think between this Earthquake and a Thunderclap, yeah, Thunderclap definitely KOs from that range. Yes, we're going to get Crab Hammered. Yes, Dojo is going to go down, but we will take it out. And if the rest of his team is just level one Ledibas, we got this. Let's see. Maybe the rest of his team won't be level 90. They're definitely level 90, but maybe. I want to believe we gain a little bit of XP. We level up. Is that level important? Nope. <laughs> Six Pokemon, and next is Goomy. You have a shiny level 100 Goomy? Well, I mean, I'm fun to clapping just so that I can make sure I outspeed, but yeah. <laughs> Big damage. Big. Draco Meteor? Wait. Good. Weaken yourself. Good. Hold on. Dark Bargain. Patches. Dark Bargain. We- we accept the curse. Dark Bargain. How does this work? Does it take half my HP immediately, or is it now that I just have the curse effect ticking? I've been afflicted with a curse. I just have it ticking. He missed! How greedy am I? How greedy am I? Do I go for a second? How greedy am I? I don't think I can be that greedy. I don't. I don't think I can be that greedy. I think I have to siphon. I'm gonna siphon. At the end of the day, even if I just take out this Gumi, I will feel better. I have a lot of special attack. Oh my god, that did nothing. Okay. 
Draco Meteor missed again. I should have went for it. Oh my god, I should have went for it. If I'd just gone for it. Oh, I'm gonna go cry for 10 minutes. <laughs> oh my god, I could have went for it. Do I go for it again? No, I've made my decision at this point. He's not gonna miss three times in a row. I have to siphon. Now I feel like there's a chance I could win. <laughs> Admittedly, it would be a really small chance, but I feel like there's a chance. Draco Meteor, how much does this do? Half special attack. Yikes. 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 Well, we took out the crop. <laughs> if we'd managed to get like three more misses in a row, yeah, maybe we'd have had a chance with Dark Bargain, but I don't think we're going to be getting Orion until uh, the post game, if we do decide to get it. I don't 100% know if I'm going to play the post game, but yeah, that one. That one's a yikes. That one's a yikes for me, okay? That didn't go as well as I'd hoped. <laughs> I didn't realize that we're going to be level 90s because I thought, hey, we can go here before we do the Elite Four. And, uh. Yeah, yeah, that. That could have went better, but well, we're going to go ahead and position ourselves in front of the Pokemon League for next episode when we go ahead and begin our challenge over there. I will go ahead and probably use up all the red candies I have on hand and probably get my team to like level 53, 54 across the board. It's not on par with them, I don't think, but I feel like that should be a strong enough point where my team will be able to, you know, have some close matches, but also be able to win pretty decently. So, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll go for Bye.